pushed by the Obama administration to make it easier for people with very weak credit to get into home loans. Dave Ramsey, champion of financial responsibility, not happy about it. What broke people don't need is a house. It becomes a curse rather than a blessing. This idea that home ownership is, a, is, is the silver bullet that helps everyone with their financial problems is governmental hogwash. Well, by the way, uh, he pointed out to us, Dave Ramsey pointed out that uh, what they've got in mind is giving people a mortgage when they put only 3% down and they've got a credit score of 500. That's a weak borrower indeed. And the loan would be backed up with our taxpayer money. Joining us now is a realtor. Samantha DiBianchi, frequent appearer on this program. All right, Samantha, what do you say, first of all, to, about, to the idea of lowering credit standards to get people into homes? You're in the business. You're selling homes. Don't you want this? I mean, I'd like to stay in the business, too. That's, it's, you know, I think we're going back to 2008 with that mentality. And like we've always said before, you should only buy if you can. Not if you want to, not if you think you can, but if you actually can, which means you have a good credit score. Not, you know, uh, I, I mean, we're going to put people in a position where they have no business being in. I, I, don't you agree with that? Yeah, it's just ridiculous. I do agree with that, but, there, seeing... but there's another side of the coin. I mean, it looks like they're really lowering the credit standards. If you go down a credit score of 500 and you're only putting 3% down, that's low indeed. But I, right, you're I, putting I, in a position. You're putting people in a position to fail. We have all understood. of this positive news coming out. We have price increases of 10 percent from last year. We have but, two million on, homeowners. Is it not? <laughs> would it not be a socially good thing if you lowered the credit standards just a little bit and you allowed some of these youngsters, 20 and 30 somethings, to get into that first home? There's a social good there, which is the reward for the risk of lowering your credit. What do you say? I, I just don't agree with that. You know, uh, I'm 28 years old and I just bought my first home and I had a great credit. I worked very hard to get to that point. I think if you don't have a good credit right now, I think, you know, just because all of the signs point to buy doesn't mean that everyone should be buying. We should instead educate people on how to strengthen that credit and put them in the position where they won't default on a mortgage. It's right. okay to rent right now. We hear you. Now, one last point. There was a report out, sure. I think it was earlier this week it says that you a realtor you have the happiest job in the country that will be all realtors <laughs> not not just you Samantha but all realtors do you have any comment I mean, on I'm, that I'm in South Florida of course I'm happy right now but you know I want to I want to stay happy I want to stay in that happiest position and if we go back to just giving everyone a mortgage right now everything's going to go back to you know when when we had the crisis and when we had the crash so you right. know right now there's so much positive things that are happening and the housing market is really taking a turn for something good. So let's stay on that path. Samantha I want to stay happy here. In sunny <laughs> South Florida, happy as a clam. All right. Thanks for joining us, Samantha. We'll see you again soon. Thank thanks. you.